Hello, welcome back to the channel. Um, this is a high five resale shop channel. Uh, my name is Derek. I've been selling on eBay for 17 years now. Um, I am in the top 1% of women's, most women's clothing and um, top 1% of audio CD books. Um, also in the top 1% on eBay in terms of used CDs and new CDs. Um, all this is uh, from a report generated by eBay that you can get to in your performance settings. Um, uh, up, you go to performance in your uh, overall eBay uh, tabs, and then you go to performance, and then on the um, right side of the screen is a, a little circle, and it says um, download. Um, performance report or something like that and it'll tell you in an excel, excel spreadsheet uh, where you rank among your sellers so that's a pretty cool thing to look up if you haven't ever done it you see where you stand on items but uh happy new year to everybody um we had uh today is the second uh so we here at the Bartlett House had a uh, new year and a birthday. So um, we say happy birthday to our little girl Waverly. She turned six. And then also we had the happy new year. So happy new year to everybody out there. Um, we sold 34 things um, from the period of uh, when I shipped things out on Friday, I think, um, probably around... 430 ish um, I don't think I made it to the post office so I had to go into Springfield to uh, drop stuff off I missed the post office for like 10 minutes I, I was fooling around in the house and I and I missed the cutoff there they were closed by the time I got there and you know since it was holiday they were probably ready to go as soon as it hit 430 so I drove into Springfield and I dropped the stuff off at a place that closed at 5.30. And uh, since that point, we sold 34 items. We had one um, big order by one customer, um, which was uh, 10 or 11 CDs. And that's pretty cool. Um, and uh, that's, that's the big one. And uh, we'll go through all the sales that I had. And this is a little different setup if you watched before this looks a lot different this is in my storage area so behind me I have all my audio books over here and back here um, uh, this is something I bought right before I started uh, working on the channel here uh, so I bought 900 of these in one foul swoop and um, uh, I put them all up. I lost maybe 30 or 40 of them because they were incomplete or they were in bad shape. But for the most part, they were all in pretty good condition. I put them in alphabetical order. I have since taken down ones that were lower than three dollars um, because I, I just don't. I don't think that's you're making pennies basically. So I will try and sell the ones that I took down, which was about 20 of them. And I will take them to a garage sale and sell them there. We also have uh, racks and racks of clothes. Uh, you know, behind me are some clothes over here. Over there are some clothes. Over here are some clothes. And then there's some shelving over here that has um, little knickknacks and stuff like that on it. Um, I'll probably do more videos out here uh, coming soon. Um, I like doing them in the office. I got two screens to look at so I can... I don't have to write stuff down or have it printed out, but uh, we'll go on and we'll talk about the things that have sold over the course of the three day span. So that one uh, big CD purchase from somebody, um, we'll go through those. And starts off with uh, Kelly Clarkson, Breakaway. They pay $2 for this, and they're going to be all low price, but that I can combine shipping on them, I can make a little bit more money. Um, now, that's what I call tailgating, um, $2.50. Sugar Ray Floored, $2. Dollars. 
Now that's what I call party anthems. This is new sealed. The other now is new sealed. Two dollars and fifty cents. Country Legends, two dollars. The Best of Burl Ives, 20th Century Masters. Um, this was two dollars. The Sound of Music was a whopping four dollars. That's the soundtrack to Sound of Music. Scorpions, Best of Rockers and Ballads, two dollars. The World of Doris Day, Sealed, $2. Scorpions Icon Series, uh, $2. And Country Music Hall of Fame, a two-disc set, $2. The total of that is $25. So that's a pretty good order by one person, and I appreciate that order. Um, I don't have the name of the customer in front of me. The next thing, is we're going to continue on the CD path. Um, we got Melody Garrett, My One and Only Thrill. I think it's like a jazz thing. Um, that sold for $3 this morning, plus shipping on top. So all my stuff is shipping on top. I always do shipping extra for the customer pays the shipping. Um, the next item are these... Don Ross Extra Large Cards. I don't have a picture of them that I can show you right now. There are, I think, seven of them in here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of them in here. Um, somebody paid $10 plus shipping for those. That came out of the sports memorabilia auction lot that I got. Uh, the next item is a piece of clothing. So it is this blue Land's End sweater with embroidered floral front it is a 3x cardigan sweater <coughs> excuse me that sold for thirty dollars and forty cents that was a good good purchase right there and the next item is a cd sealed new bad company um what's it desolation angels is the name of it that sold for $3.99 plus shipping. The next is a international sale. It is new sealed Melissa Etheridge icon. Um, so that sold for $6 plus shipping. A lot of stuff from the 90s in there. The next item is a piece of clothing. It is a Hollister cami extra small with a floral lace trim. That sold for $6 plus shipping. The next item is, I think, a Jew, jazz uh, CD. It's Les McCann and Eddie Harris. Um, recorded live at the Montreux Jazz Festival in Switzerland. This uh, sold for $7 plus shipping. Um, the next item is a sweater again. I think I have three sweaters going out. This Old Navy sweater, um, it's a fun little sweater with the stripes on it. Um, it sold for $10 plus shipping. It is marked as a small. Um, the next is a CD again, USM, United State of Mind, Robin Tower, Trower, Maxi Priest, and Livingstone Brown. Um, with Maxi Priest in there, I would think it's some kind of reggae album. This sold for $13.60. Journey, Look Into the Future, new sealed. This sold for $5.40. Um, 12 Foot Ninja, I will replace the case on this because it's cracked. Um, or at least the front part of the case. Uh, 12 Foot Ninja... I think that's heavy metal. I'm not sure. This sold for $10 plus shipping. So that's a nice one right there. The next uh, is a Sports Illustrated. Uh, new um, in perfect condition uh, with Patrick Mahomes after the Chiefs won their second Super Bowl, I think. And that sold for $16 plus shipping. Uh, the next item is another CD. Best of Crocus. Stayed awake all night. This album is heavy metal and it sold for $7 plus shipping on top. 
The next item is Hot Tuna. Um, I think it's Indie Rock. I'm not sure about Hot Tuna. This sold for $2.75 plus shipping on top. $2.75 is the lowest I will go on the CDs. Um, otherwise, they're just coming down. And then I'm taking them to a um, garage sale that I've signed up for at the Ozark County Fair. Um, I think it's January uh, 27th and 28th, I think. And I will have two booths there. One of them will probably be all CDs. Uh, and I will be trying to sell those CDs that I got from that uh, CD store there. Um, I'm thinking at a dollar a piece. And then I'll have some kind of um, deal if they bundle up a lot of CDs. But that's my plan going into that. And I'll have another table which will have like clothes on it. Um and other garage sale items. They call it a garage sale. They they advertise it as a garage sale, but then it looks like a lot of these are little companies that make their own arts and crafts and stuff, but I will be there just selling my garage sale items. So it, it'll be interesting. We'll be learning a lot from that one thing. And then um, uh, hopefully I come home with no CDs. That's my hope, but that never works out that way. Um, the next item is uh, a Lure 80s uh, blazer slash jacket. Um, this sold for $20 plus shipping. So that is an interesting purchase. But we appreciate it. $20. It's a pretty good sale on an item. Um, the next item is an Ann Taylor green cardigan. It's extra large. It's an oversized cardigan. Um, we got uh, a little bit of peeling on it, but um, but I'm sure that it will make the person who gets it happy and warm. So that was fifteen dollars plus shipping. The next item is this little Boyd's bear. Um, I'll try and get this close enough so you can see it. It is like a desk. It's called Noah's Genius at Work Table. So there's a couple of little mice on there at a work table. And it goes with the Noah's Ark collection of Boyd's Bear stuff. That sold for $11.20. We sold this little um, Meadow Gold milk bottle. 5.5 ounces. Um, it sold for $6 plus shipping. The next item was another CD, Steppenwolf Monster. Um, this sold for $8 plus shipping on top. The next item was another CD. I'm thinking this is heavy metal as well. It's called Scorpion Child Acid Roulette. This sold for $4.25 plus shipping on top. The next one is a new sealed Paul Simon Graceland CD. Um, if I remember correctly, I think he won Best Album of the Year for this. I'm not, I'm not positive on that, but I think he won a, several Grammys on that one. That sold for $3 plus shipping. The next is a lot of Hillsong DVDs. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight CDs in there. This sold for nine dollars plus shipping. Um, the next one is uh, Katie Melua. Um, I do not know anything about this CD. Um, what kind of music it is? Uh, it's called Pictures. This sold for five dollars plus shipping on top. Um, that's everything. 34 items over the course of three days. Um, I don't remember exactly the um, dollar amount on that. There's a lot of shipping that needs to be refunded to that person who bought 11 CDs. Um, I refund the shipping on stuff like that um, just because it really um, gives the customer a good experience and um, 
I'm all about giving the customer a good experience and adding value to the purchase that they purchased. You can do it in lots of different ways by answering their questions as fast as you can on eBay. You can also give value to them by packaging their items so that they see that you cared about getting it to them without breaking it. Um, and uh, I have to thank my um, early experiences in my young adult job life uh, for teaching me how to pack correctly. Um, God put me in the right place at the right time so I would learn how to package things and have accountability for how I packaged items. I worked for a company called McMaster Car and if you, you would get pulled aside if your stuff came back and it got broken on the way to the customer. So I learned a lot about packaging there, small items and big items. And um, so that's that's very important to make sure that your items get to the customer without being damaged. Um, I have a specific way that I ship all my CDs um, and I have had very good success with it. I haven't had uh, any at all problems with people saying that their CD was cracked or the case was broken. And I may use a little bit more bubble wrap than most people would think to use, but uh, it keeps me from having to answer emails about broken items. Um, I think the last broken item I had was a three or four bowl ceramic set and I didn't put enough packing in between the bowls and they clanged together and one of the um, four bowls that came in that set broke inside the others. And so it was terribly disappointing to the person. It's also terribly disappointing to me because that was on the earth for like 30 or 40 years until I got a hold of it and then I broke it by shipping it incorrectly. So, um, you know, uh, you don't want to be the one that breaks something that's been around for 60 or 70 years. Um, overpacking is better than not packing well enough. So uh, just keep that in mind as you go about your packing of your stuff when you ship it out. Um, if anybody has any questions about uh, anything I talked about today, I'd love to answer any comments or questions that you may have. Um, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Um, growing in subscribers every day, a couple here and there, and I appreciate it. Trying to grow this channel, trying to... Um, I'd like to see a few more comments every once in a while. I don't get that many comments, but uh, we'll probably get comments. We'll get more than we can handle sooner or later. Um, if you have anything you want me to discuss on the channel, put it down in the comments. I'd be more than happy to share my take on it. And uh, that's going to be it for today. And we will see you next time. So have a great new year. Happy New Year.